fulfilling my calling. They on my status, cause I'm up and popping. Stop it. God with me, I know. Yeah, every step I take. Hi guys, my name is Ozzy and today we're going to be doing a comparison versus the iPhone 7 Plus versus the iPhone 8 Plus and we're going to be seeing if the upgrade is worth it or not. So let's go ahead and look at the back of the phones. On the left is the iPhone 7 Plus and on the right is the iPhone 8 Plus. As you can see, the back of the iPhone 7 Plus has a metal, and metal uh, back while the back of the iPhone 8 Plus has a glass back. These phones are not brand new, so that's probably why they're not as shiny. So the build of the phones is very much the same. As you can see, the speakers are exactly the same on both phones. Let me let the camera focus real quick. Same number of speaker holes. And the size of the phone looks exactly the same as well. The only difference really is the new colors for the iPhone 8 Plus. The rose gold is a different shade, and the gold phone is also a different shade. But the black phones are exactly the same shade, so not much has changed in that aspect. Okay, so in this part, I'm going to be comparing the responsiveness of the touch, of the finger ID touch. And we were having some problems at first, because, you know, iPhones. And the first trial that we had, the 7 Plus, it unlocked faster with the fingerprint touch ID. But then on the second try, the iPhone 8 Plus opened up faster, so... As you can see, that's what is going on right here. Go ahead and watch the responsiveness. But I guess it really depends on how many apps that you have downloaded onto the app as well. That also plays into a factor. But overall, the iPhone 8 Plus is faster because it has a, a newer uh, it has a newer processing chip. And right here, I'm taking pictures, testing out the portrait mode for the iPhone 7 Plus versus the portrait mode on the iPhone 8 Plus. The iPhone 8 Plus has four new portrait modes. That's what makes it different. So I'm going to like go ahead and put like a screen recording of the different uh, pictures and which studio light is which so you guys can get a feel for it. So uh, that's going to be the next part of the video. Alright guys, so for those of you that don't know, portrait mode is basically a setting in the camera application on iPhone 7 Plus and up that allows you to blur out the background so that we can focus completely on one particular part in the picture. So if you look in the middle, right here, this is the iPhone 7 Plus portrait mode. And hold on. And this is the iPhone 8 Plus portrait mode. And as you can tell, the background and the colors is different. For the iPhone 7 Plus portrait mode, it's, the colors are cooler. And the iPhone 8 Plus portrait mode, the colors are warmer and a little bit more crisper. And for the next setting, by the way, the iPhone 8 Plus has four additional portrait mode set settings. One of the settings is called Studio Light, which is this one right here. And the next one is called Contour Light. This third one is Stage Light, where it darkens out the background a little bit. And then this is Stage Light Mono, which gives it a complete black and white feel and also darkens out part of the background. So I think Stage Light Mono is pretty interesting. And Stage Light as well. This is Stage Light, and then this is Stage Light Mono. And then that's pretty much all for the new features of the camera for the portrait mode. Um, at, for everything else, the, for the video camera, it's still shooting at 4K. 30 frames per second. That's the highest video mode capability at the moment for the iPhone 8 Plus. So other than that, there's no real differences between the camera besides the new modes in portrait mode. It's the exact same camera. They just added new features. So basically, it's like they just changed certain things around in the iPhone 8 Plus. So in my opinion, the upgrade isn't totally worth it. But you'll see what else I mean when we continue on further into this video. Yeah, yeah. This for the take. I just hope that they're at it. I just hope that they're at it. Yeah, I give it and go. Yeah, yeah. I've been on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're rolling, they're rolling, they're rolling they slow. Mm, yeah, yeah. I swear I got it. 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 Okay, yeah. look, I don't really flex, but I just got out the gym. Yeah. They can't see what's next, man. We own it once again. This for the tank. I 
Alright, so this first video I'm shooting on the iPhone 7 Plus in 4K 30 frames per second. And in this video I'm shooting with the iPhone 8 Plus 4K 30 frames per second. And literally the cameras are exactly the same. The only difference is the portrait mode has new feet has new additional modes. Alright. So the pros and cons of the iPhone 7 Plus versus the iPhone 8 Plus, we're gonna go ahead and go over that. So for the iPhone 7 Plus, the lowest capacity is 32 gigabytes, and for the iPhone 8 Plus, it only has two capacities, 64 and 256. While the iPhone 7 Plus, it has a 32 gigabyte, 64, 128, and 256. So you have four storage options. So basically, the iPhone 8 Plus is forcing you to choose between two options, and the price difference shows, which is crazy. But we'll get on to that in the next part of the video. Um, both of them have the same light sensor, proximity sensor, accelerometer, barometer, compass, gyroscope on both of them. So nothing much has changed. Uh, with the iPhone 8 Plus, it starts off on iOS 11. I mean, they can both run on the newest mod on the newest uh, operating software. So nothing big to complain there. It's only been a year apart. So the iPhone 6, the iPhone 7 Plus came out October 7, 2016. The iPhone 8 Plus came out on September 29, 2017. So, yeah, so with the loudspeaker, uh, they both have loudspeakers, no FM radio, you know. The chipset for the iPhone 7 Plus is A10 Fusion, so, and the iPhone 8 Plus has A11 Bionic chip, which is slightly faster, but you're not really going to notice it that much unless you do a side-by-side -side comparison like I did earlier. And they both have the same amount of RAM, so... In theory, they are going to move about the same speed, so I don't even know why the chip the new chip process would even say it's going to make it faster. It doesn't make it much faster. And they both are water resistant, IP67, dust proof. And ironically, even though um, they both, both phones don't have a headphone jack, the iPhone 8 Plus is a little bit thicker. The iPhone 7 Plus is 158.2 millimeters, and the iPhone 8 Plus is 158.4 millimeters. And the colors for the iPhone 7 Plus are black, gold, silver, rose gold, and jet black. While the iPhone 8 Plus only has gold, red, silver, and space gray, removing the jet black option, which is kind of weird. But, uh, yeah. And the iPhone 8 Plus, it has less screen-to-body ratio with 67.25%, while the iPhone 7 Plus is 67.51%. So, yeah, they're both the same size, 5.5 inches, and they have the same amount of pixels, 1080 by 1920 pixels, 3D touch, touchscreen, multi-touch, all that stuff. And the camera is pretty much the same, you know. Literally, they both have the same amount of pixels, 4,608 by 2,592 pixels. So, yeah, they both have phase detection autofocus, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same. The, shoot, the highest that it shoots at is 1920 times 1080 at 30 frames per second, which is, it goes up to 4K at 30 frames per second. Other than that, everything is pretty much uh, the same. So, go ahead. I'm, for the next part of the video, I'm going to just compare the prices between the two. Alright guys, so for the very next part of this video, I'm going to be comparing the prices of the iPhone 7 Plus versus the iPhone 8 Plus. So, let's just go ahead and, we're on Google right now, so just go ahead and search iPhone 7 Plus, brand new. Okay, look at this, from everywhere around, the prices range from 700 all the way to 450 and that's, well this is just the iPhone 7, for the 7 Plus, 32 gigabytes is like 570. But to get a good range of the prices, let's go to ebay.com and go ahead and compare full prices. So let's start with the iPhone 7 Plus, which is the older of the models. Let's let's go ahead and say 64 gigabytes. Let's, let's check the brand new price. Check the brand new. Uh, okay, we're gonna use the filters, buy it now. Okay, we'll go ahead and do North America, U.S. only, and let's see, uh, what else, what else, we want to go ahead and condition new, get a price, okay, so we're looking at brand new iPhones right here, let's go ahead and see the prices, the stock, this is 128 gigabytes, black, iPhone 7, 
Why does it helpful like this? I don't know why the, the filter is like this. I, I searched Apple Sound Plus, right? All right. Yeah, I searched Apple Sound Plus. I know I'm not bugging. Okay, here you go. iPhone 7 Plus. Ah, there you go. For a brand new iPhone 7 Plus, $675. That's pretty expensive because last time I checked, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8 Plus brand new is like like nine hundred something dollars on the Apple site. Let's go ahead and go on Apple.com and we'll go ahead and do a comparison real quick. Uh, let's see iPhone. Okay, we'll see iPhone eight. Oh yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and press the like button and press the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, check it out. Your yeah, iPhone eight, yada yada yada. Sizing it up. Oh, they got the new iPhone 8, the red special edition for the raising money for HIV research. Okay, all this is cool and all, but I'm just trying to see where the price is at. I feel like I'm scrolling through a lot. They're like telling me everything, but the price. That's great. See, this is why you have me doing the video, so that way you don't have to waste all this time because you have somebody like me to scroll for you. So, I hope my work is appreciated out here. Okay, there you go. Oh no, this is just accessories. Where's the for the iPhone? Okay, compare iPhone models. Ah, iPhone 8 Plus. Oh, is this the iPhone 8 Plus, right? Okay, iPhone 8 Plus. There we go. Go ahead and press buy. See what the prices are like. Can you imagine how much we had to scroll down just to get to this point? Okay, so they're talking about the, the little plans. Uh, let's go ahead, iPhone 8 Plus, select that. Why are they making me do the most? Okay, let's see what it, buying it without a carrier and see what the price is looking like. Okay, so right now you got the, I'll just choose silver, just round color, 64. Uh, see that, 64 gigabytes, $800 for 64 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, $949. So with tax, let's go ahead, add this to the cart and then look at it real quick, you know? Add to bag, and then with tax, it's going to be like a thousand, definitely. Go to check out real quick. Look at that. With tax, fifty four fifty seven. Let me go highlight that for you guys. Fifty four fifty seven. A thousand dollars and three a thousand three dollars and fifty seven cents. We can finance it. Okay, so we have the comparative price of six hundred. So iPhones pretty much hold up their value for the most part because I think. When the iPhone 7 Plus came out in 2016, its price was around like six was around like nine hundred dollars. So not much has changed, you know. And let's see how much Apple is selling the iPhone 7 Plus on their website. They probably they probably haven't even dropped the price that much. Okay, let's just go ahead. So we're still at iPhone 8. Go back a little bit more. Still gotta go back one more time. Okay, so I don't think. Okay, they are still selling the iPhone 7 Plus. Cool. So let's go ahead and see what the prices are looking like for iPhone 7 Plus. Scroll it down, press buy, and waiting for this to load. Again, 7 Plus select. Buy without a carrier. I mean, if you buy with a carrier, the price will be cheaper, by the way. So, Jet Black. Okay, so $670 for 32 gigabytes. 770 for 128. That means they're definitely overpricing because, look, for here, okay, no, it's about the same price. This is 670 This is 675 for the for brand new. Oh, no. Actually, never mind. They're tag Apple is taxing. 256 gigabytes is $675, 7 plus, brand new. Apple's website is literally selling a 32 gigabyte for 670 So if you go on eBay, you'll definitely find better prices than actually buying from Apple themselves. Just make sure that you have it filtered to the location, located in the United States. You don't want to buy anything from China because you're most likely going to be buying the fake. And yeah, now let's go ahead and see what the price would be like if I had chosen with a carrier. Okay, let's choose AT&T, just something random. So, oh, with or without a carrier, the price would still be the same. <laughs> they really try to get you, like, the carrier doesn't make a difference. 
yeah. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and recap. So if you want to buy a brand new iPhone 7 Plus, you go on eBay, you can get it for like 675 and that's for the maximum capacity. For the maximum capacity for iPhone 8, it's going to be like $954 as we saw earlier. Let's go back to the card so you guys can see it. So for iPhone 8 Plus, the, the highest capacity, which is 256 gigabytes, $949, and with tax, $1,003.57. So if it was me, I would just buy the iPhone 7 Plus with the highest capacity because it's not going to go slow if you have this much space, you know? But at the end of the day, it's really if you want to flex, be like, oh, yeah, I got that new iPhone 8 Plus. And then they look exactly the same. Look at this, iPhone 7 Plus. And then iPhone 8 Plus. The only difference is that the back is made out of glass. But design-wise, nothing new, nothing innovative has really come about besides the glass back, which is for the wireless charging. Let's not forget that Samsung Galaxy phones have had wireless charging for years because all their phones recently, since like the S4, had like a glass back or glass casing. So not... Not the S4, I think it was the S5 or S6, one of those. You, you guys can go ahead and look that up. But yeah, so that's going to be all for this part. I just wanted to compare the prices for you guys. So you guys could see, like, if is it really worth the hype. And that whole $400 price difference, to me, I personally have an iPhone 7 Plus. So I, I the iPhone 8 Plus is just worth, is not really worth the hype to me. I would get the iPhone X, but because this this is this new model, it still has a bunch of glitches that I don't like with it. The full screen, it's not really full screen for every app. So if you watch YouTube, it'll be like some black bars. So you don't really have the full screen experience like how they send the commercials. But with the Galaxy S8 Plus, they actually have the full screen with for like every other app except for YouTube. So I'm going to wait till the iPhone X Plus comes out. So that way you can actually have a bigger screen. And I'm not really a big fan of the face ID unlock. I know you can use the, you can just use the touch to unlock it, but I'd rather use my fingerprint to unlock it. It's so much quicker and easier. It's, you know, you can use your fingerprint to pay for things. To Instead of putting a password, just use the fingerprint. It's pretty quick, you know. Having to type in numbers every time when you want to unlock your phone. I mean, the Face ID, it's cool, but it has its flaws. Like, you can't be wearing, like, a hat. The face can't be covered up. Like, most of your face can't be covered up. So it still has its flaws, but that's a different video. But for now, I mean, you guys can go ahead. You've seen the whole video. You can make a decision for yourself. Me, personally, I would just stick with the iPhone 7 Plus. I have it right now. The phone is two years old, or almost two years old, and it's still working perfectly. I have the 128 gigabyte model, and I haven't had any problems. So, hey, if you want to get that iPhone 8 Plus and spend up that extra $400, just so that way you can have a slightly better camera, quote on, quote on that, because the camera, the only difference is the new portrait modes, but that's about it. But you guys saw the comparison, so you know. So it's really about if you want the wireless charging, which you would have to have a thin case on it for it to work perfectly anyway. So it's really just a matter of you really want that new special feature. And the whole thing about the wireless charging that really bothers me is that it doesn't come with the iPhone 8 Plus. You have to buy it separately. So it's like a cool feature, but it doesn't come with the phone. So it's kind of like you're not going to use it unless you want to spend the extra money. So it, it really depends on your financial situation, I guess, or preference. Me personally, I just wouldn't go with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and press the subscribe button. And don't forget to tap the bell next to my channel name to be notified when I upload a new video. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. And for those of you who were wondering if you were about to upgrade from the 6, because before the 7 Plus, I had an iPhone 6 Plus. You know, it was two generations behind. But I didn't upgrade my phone until my phone's batteries started having problems. And the Apple Store wasn't trying to really help me. They wanted me to, like, wait a few months before they brought in new batteries. And they were trying to persuade me to buy a brand new phone. But the thing with buying phones is that the moment you buy a phone and you put your fingers on it and you open it and put your SIM card in there, it's now considered used. So you can't sell it for its full price. So that's why I advise buying a, a gently used phone or factory or furby so everything is reset. But you can use the phone without any problems. So that's what I did. I just got a gently used iPhone 7 Plus. No problem. Got it for $400. So... Hey, man, if you go on eBay, you can find a lot of good prices. Just make sure that you have it filtered from lowest to highest. And look for it if it has any cracks. And if it's like, make sure it's not iCloud locked. If it's iCloud locked, you can't use it unless you pay someone to, to iCloud unlock it. So, which costs money. So, you might as well just buy one that doesn't have an iCloud lock on it to save yourself the time. But anyway, go ahead, subscribe, press the like button. And that's all for this video, and I'm out. Peace.
original. I ain't really wanna do it. I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof. 